In the last video, we saw the basic file attributes and the basic file operations. Any activity on the file is either one of these basic operations or a combination of these basic operations. But we can see that most of these operations require a search in the directory structure with this specified file name. To avoid this constant searching in the directory which resides on the disk, the operating system maintains a small table called open file table which contains the list of all open files and the information about them. That is, whenever a file is referred to by a process, an open system call will be made. Some systems implicitly open the file, some other systems require the programmers to explicitly open the file. This open operation will search the directory with the specified file name and whenever the entry is found, the information about these files are copied to the open file table. But the same file can be used by many processes at the same time and there can be certain process specific information such as the current file position pointer. This pointer will point to the location in which the next read or write should take place in a particular file and it differs for each process. So to maintain such process specific information, each process maintain its own per process open file table. This table will contain the list of all open files of this particular process and the process related information such as one is the file pointer as we said, then the access right information and so on. In addition, every entry will maintain a pointer to the corresponding file entry in the system-wide open file table. Finally, the open system call will return a pointer to this per process table entry. Thus, whenever a file is referred to by a process for the very first time, the directory will be searched, an open file table entry is created, the information about the file is copied to this entry, and a per process table entry is created with the process specific information and a pointer pointing to the system wide open file table and finally the open call will return a pointer to this per process table entry and if the same file is opened by another process at the same time then the open file table entry already exists thus the per process table entry is created with the pointer pointing to the same file entry in the open file table. Finally, the open call will return a pointer to this per process table entry. Later on for all further operations of the process on the file till it closed, this pointer will be used. This will avoid any further search in any of this table because from this table it points to the information regarding the activity of the process on this file and from there we can get a pointer which points to the global open file table entry which contains all the global information related to the file which are the global information one is the location of the file the disk location of the file where exactly on the disk the file is located then the size of the file then one other global information is the file open count the number of instances of this file currently open in the system that is whenever a file is referred to by any process the file open count will be incremented here currently two processes have opened the file a.txt hence the file open count for this file is 2 Similarly, one process has opened the file b.exe, thus the file open count is 1. Then, when a file is closed by a process, the process table, the per process table entry is freed 
and the file open count is decremented. Now process 1 has also closed the file. The, the file open count for a .txt will be decremented once more and become 0. And when the counter reaches 0, it means no more instances of this file are now open in the system. Hence, the open file table entry is also freed, making space for the other files.